What's it like directing your partner? We've worked together a lot, but I, she's also my favorite actress. And we have a shorthand and we have an understanding and we've also got similar tastes. We like taking on the subjects that are quite difficult to tell. He also we knows how willing I am to kind of go to the place that he's gonna need me to get to. Anna Paquin and Stephen Moyer, known for their Hollywood love story, on screen and off. The pair met on the set of HBO's hit True Blood series. They married in 2010 and now have 11 year old twins. They're working together again on a new project with her in front of the camera. Yes. You can't just have my kids and pretend I'm not here. And you can't decide to be a mother when it suits you. And him behind the lens. Often when I'm looking for material, I'm looking for something where we can be together. The kids Kevin being together and us you. being Meeting together. We're going to show you that we got to be on together for years and years and years, so we got a little spoiled. The duo stepping out for a bit of light at the film's New York premiere last week. And as much as you're comfortable talking about, you were on the red carpet with a walking aid. Mm -hmm, I was. How's your health doing? I'm having a good day today, and um, it's very kind of you to ask. And at some point when I'm not blabbing endlessly about my work, uh, I will probably elaborate more on that. Um, but on my own terms and on my own platform, most likely. But I really, really appreciate people being kind and asking their questions. That's just the reality of where I am right now. Good days and bad days right now. Yes, and I think it's nice to focus on the good days. Right. The focus of their new film, a, a desperate mother's struggle with sobriety. Please stop. After losing her children in a custody battle. Tell me a little bit about taking on the role of Ella, because this is a chilling performance. How'd you navigate all these different topics that I think are so sort of relatable to so many people? I'm very deeply drawn to complex <laughs> material that deals with the less shiny side of humanity. There are a lot of aspects about, you know, your journey as a mother or a parent. You make plans and God laughs kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Where you don't necessarily feel like you're, you're, you're getting it right. Anna Paquin, the piano. At just 11 years old, Paquin became the second youngest actress to win in Oscar history for her supporting role in the piano. My mother was struck down much. Never spoke another word. She went on to star in the blockbuster X-Men franchise. It was an accident. Lainey! As well as cult classics, like She's All That. Lainey Boggs, get your cute butt down here! And Almost Famous. You were her excuse for coming here. Moyer also starred in multiple projects of his own, on? including the Marvel TV that? show, Dad, The Gifted. Dad! And opposite Will Smith in the Golden Globe nominated film, Concussion. If you retract, you'll be fine. This all goes away. His acting work, planting seeds for him to eventually start directing. Yeah, I was sort of doing TV and film, and then I'm watching people and I'm watching how the cameras work. And I've sort of picked up through time how that stuff works. It's sort of been a natural process yeah. to doing what I've always wanted to do, but also within a sort of filmic way. Their careers eventually bringing them together in the leading roles on HBO's True Blood. Hi, what, what can I get for you tonight? Do you have any of that synthetic bottled blood? Which came first for y'all though, the chemistry off camera or on camera? The first time I met him for our little kind of like get together before test, we sorry. did the screen test because then you have the entire lineup of everybody from HBO, mm -hmm. you know, in a in, a in an actual theater mm -hmm. and you know no pressure. Yeah. Then. We, the next day, did the screen test, um, and they call them chemistry reads. Not you guys speed dating in front of all That's of the HBO funny. execs. That's very funny. I think chemistry gets a funny rap because people assume it's only about, frankly, sexual chemistry. Sure. There's just energetic chemistry and creative chemistry as far as who you click with. For the first time in 140 years, I felt something. As streaming has gotten bigger and bigger, have you guys noticed almost a new generation of fans pumping Second Life in, into the show? People 
are sort of amazed by it. Like, this old guy, meaning me, you're the guy who's the cute 37-year-old, and I'm like, yeah, I'm 54 now. It's like, I really do age. I'm, I'm not a vampire in real life. <laughs> yeah. Not a vampire, but now a Hollywood director who has since collaborated with his wife on multiple projects. I don't feel as angry when I'm with you. That's fantastic. How has the working relationship changed since that first screen test? I mean, it's only gotten stronger and more shorthandy and more sort of two halves to one brain. I know it sounds nauseating. I've seen Anna do many, many different things. And I've seen all the colors and textures and, and, and moments that she's created within that. He knows stuff just from who I am as a human being. The minutia of working with your life partner, <laughs> who knows all that stuff, it only gets richer. Our thanks to Ashen. A Bit of Light is in select theaters now, also available on demand and on digital platforms.